to the sports hall in Trenchin. Uh, what about those highlights of the week? Let's have a look at the men who won the overall European Championships for 2001. And guess who we're going to start with? You'll see a very familiar figure in just a moment. Here we go. And we start, as ever, with this man. Pocket Hercules, 56 kilos, Halil Mutlu. This his world record, clean and jerk record, giving him for the second time in his career a lift of triple body weight. 56 kilos on the bar, 168. A great way for the Turkish contingent to start day one. He never misses a lift. He is actually lifted that with a wrist injury as well. Total 302 and a half, just two and a half kilos below his Sydney total. So don't let anybody tell you that you don't get quality performances at the Europeans. Yes, very similar technique to Naim Sulemanoglu. Bar accelerating as it... Uh, Comes from the floor to the shoulders. And then a good split. And uh, brings the feet in line. And there it is, a new world record and triple body weight for the Turk that, as you say, never seems to put a foot wrong, does he? Only 27, plenty of years ahead of him. And a third Olympic gold medal, a real possibility in Athens. And so on to day two, Nikolai Pashalov, also an Olympic champion in Sydney in the 62 kilo division. But he wasn't pushed anywhere near as hard as we'd hoped. In the end, he snatched 140, he clean and jerked 160. This, that very lift, for a total of 300. But compare that to the 325 he lifted a year ago in the Europeans at Sofia and in the Olympic Games. But Pashalov in charge of 62 kilos. Representing Croatia, 31 years of age, and maybe with not too many more seasons at uh, his disposal, with so many youngsters coming up. In the 69 kilos, we saw one of the youngsters, Ekrem Yalil of Turkey. But he was lucky to win the championship. Watch the feet. In truth, they weren't in line and the lift should not have been given. But the jury didn't spot it. The referees gave three white. He got 182 and a half kilos, totaled 322 and a half kilos and denied Andrei Matviev of Russia the title. 20 years of age, a junior world champion with luck on his side here in Slovakia. And on to the 77 kilos. Now, this is a man to make a note of. Oleg Perepechenov, 25 years of age. Only ninth a year ago here picking up 210 kilos to total 372 and a half to set the world record, the standard, the first time it had ever been done. Yes, and this, for my money, the man of the championship. Not just the fact that he broke the record, but the way he did it. He looked as if he had another five kilos there. Really, really impressive and uh, took a big jump from 195 kilos to that 210. So showing that uh, he's a very confident lifter with a lot of self-belief. On to the 85 kilos, just 24 hours ago, and the defending champion, Georgi Azanitse. He went on to make it two European championships, the bronze medalist from the Olympic Games, but again, only 380 kilos required compared to the 390 that he accumulated in Sydney to take the bronze. But remember, the 85 kilo category in the Olympics was decided on body weight. 94 kilos and a man moving up from 85 after last season, Nizami Pasheyev of Azerbaijan. Just 19 years of age, 12th in the Olympics, but showing that this junior world champion of last season is a man to be reckoned with. 
Yes, a really promising youngster. As you said, David, just 19 years of age and improving all the time. 387 and a half kilos, the championship winning total. And so on to the penultimate category, decided just an hour and a half ago, and the title going to Russia and Yevgeny Chiganev. 21 years of age and winning the title by virtue of his performance in the snatch. 195 kilos, giving him a 10 kilo advantage at the halfway stage, 227 and a half in the jerk, 422 and a half the total, 10 clear of the ever promising talent from Poland, Simon Kolecki, who will be a match for him in 12 months time. In cycling, when you 